What's going on EYG? Aaron here, back again with another really exciting video covering one of my favorite clans. That's going to be Frostlight. Um, along with that, we have Emerson here, the new clan leader of Frostlight, and we have Jack, the EYG Productions star. I think this is his third video. Whatever. Anyway, um, we're here to cover this perfect war that they had. What's going on, guys? What do you guys think, and how did you guys do it? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> What's, going What's going on, on man? What's going on? The the key to the victory was taking off our pants as soon as war started. Taking off your <laughs> yeah. pants? Yes. If you are not doing your, your rage pantsless, like, you're, you're doing something wrong in this fire, man. Okay, so I'm assuming that's a clan role. Now, I'm definitely not joining you guys, weirdos. <laughs> right. hey, man, you, you gotta get the juices flowing. You gotta, you know, I get can, more comfortable. I appreciate right? your offer, but I'll, I'll definitely pass. Um, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start with uh, covering um, Uppercut. Uppercut is Jab's account. I mean, he likes to claim it's a beast account, but um, whatever. It's gonna be Uppercut. <laughs> it is a beast. <laughs> he's gonna be attacking one or two. He's gonna be attacking two. It's gonna be a ring base. Holy crap, Jab! You three starred this monster, Town Hall Twelve. I, I three, I yep, three starred both of them. That's good. Yep. So a little insight, um, Jab, this guy right here. We are gonna be going. Um, my clan Hellhor is gonna be um, conducting a arranged war with him. Um, starting on Tuesday, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a little scary to see they just, uh, you know, blew this clan out of the water with, you know, every base attack. But, uh, let me just say this, these bases look like they suck. Do they suck? They, they, I was excited when I saw the bases. <laughs> I was excited, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, looking at the opposite side, them, their attacks on you was very interesting. A lot of one stars. Yeah, and, and I saw a lot of their OP. Yeah, I saw a lot of their uh, attacks were using uh, mass valks, and it was interesting. <laughs> when you say mass valks, like all valks? <laughs> yes, I saw a lot of attacks using literally nothing but valks, and it was let me just say interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the nice hit put me. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous, guys. Here comes the Sage Machine, just straight into the center. Like, this Sage Machine has changed the freaking game. Do you, can you guys, like, agree with that? Like, Oh my gosh, when this thing, when this thing came out, it was, it was, uh, a savior, because it allows you to use spells for other things, because you don't need to jump over stuff, you don't need to wall break in, it, it allows for so much more flexibility in your attack. Absolutely. I'm, I'm saying it definitely um, takes away um, troops, uh, uh, you know, uh, spells that, you know, um, you use to get your troops inside rather than you can just power them up all the way through a base and just watch them destroy the entire freaking base. It's, I mean, you guys can bring heals and on top of that, like you guys, are, are you guys using the freezes, the one housing space freeze that just, I mean. No, I haven't, but a lot of people have been now that it's come out. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I have. It's it, it, to me, it helps um, in some circumstances get the Sage Machine even deeper, especially whenever you're coming up against, you know, two single and tar uh, target Infernos. I haven't been using the the free spell because I never used it. So mine was only level one until just recently. So I'm finishing up the upgrade to level two right now. Gotcha, gotcha. It makes a huge difference. I, I'm not gonna lie, Jab. This attack, you got kind of lucky. Let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> I did. In in this attack, it was you know, eagle came in last. Like my my one, the one thing that I want to take down in a Queen Long Foe Witch attack is the the eagle artillery, mainly because you know to be pounding on your troops and it's it's nothing you really bought on on that. Uh, that You're main talking kill about spot. the wrong attack. What's up? Are we, at, were we attack his attack on two or one? It was his attack on two. The ring base. And now we're hit, now we're gonna be watching Kamikaze on base fourteen. So tell me about this attack, Emerson. You guys claim as Frostlight to have made this attack up. Is that true? And you guys are calling well, it what? We didn't make it. Kamikaze made it. It's the Pemba, the Pekka Muller Biner, Pekka Minor Bowler. <laughs> <laughs> 
so it's called, so you're calling it the Pimba. Pimba. Yep. So it's pretty much four. It, it's four um, pekas and a mass amount of miners. I see what twenty miners. Yep, and then just some wizards to help with the funnel. Wow. To keep the peck going in straight into the base. Very interesting, and I see he's using a free spell <laughs> as we talk about it. Uh huh. There we go. Just took down the C the uh, CC troops. Um, he actually made it pretty deep. Those pekkas, man. I'm telling you right now, those things are OP. Like, look at that, dude. Just pretty much they with really the pekkas, he took down the entire center of the base using the miners to strictly clear the outside. If you guys haven't noticed. Yeah, they're they're insane. Like. The fact that they it's brought so packs up, the miners bringing everything back, like there's no no attack that isn't going to be powerful anymore. That's insane, dude. And if you still notice, dude, this, <laughs> the, the the queen is just, dude, she's like, stri she went straight to the base, literally. Mm -hmm. Wow. Both heroes are still up. Yeah, both heroes are still up. You guys still got, I think, two P.E.K.K.A.s? Good night. Oh, and almost every <laughs> miner is still up, too. I'm not, yeah. gonna, I'm not gonna lie, we need to get Hellhor on this level before Tuesday. Good luck. <laughs> so, how did he come up with this attack? Was it just, did he did he find it on YouTube? Or he straight just... No, uh, he he just started using it. This was a couple days ago, like Thursday or Friday. And uh, I just kept throwing him FCs all day, and he just kept tweaking it. He probably did it 50 times. What was my mind? I kept messing around with Holy it. Holy crap. Alright, so next one we're gonna be doing BK. Um, he's gonna be hitting number six. My boy BK. My boy. Mm -hmm. I'll get him to hell here. You just wait. All right. Nah, so, okay. he's, he's staying frostbite, man. So this he freaking is. base. Look at this thing, man. Like, how do you? Where do you start? Like, how do you? <laughs> how would you oh my start? gosh. I didn't attack that base mainly because it it scared me. <laughs> it was so big. There's so so many open pathing. I can't really. I mean, you, of course, you can like, queen walk it. Yeah. Like there's extra stuff that they're like <laughs> looks like he has extra buildings in this space somehow <laughs> I feel like it too man it's just the way that he placed all the walls and, and all that space between defenses and, and so on all that trash buildings but yeah look but here, no, here, here goes this BK, sage machine man right down the center oh my gosh and yeah like BK wrecked it man no no scouts no nothing he just goes in pants off Pants off. Gosh dang it, man. Is pants this really, off, is this, off, So, like, go. is this legit a thing? Like, you guys really go pantless for the... <laughs> well, pants off, or girl socks on, so... Okay, Absolutely, well, yeah. I don't really know what that means, and I feel like I don't want to know what Argyle socks are. Well, if you want to know what it means, you better come to Fall Play. Play. That's right. Fair enough. I'll stay far <laughs> away from Argyle socks. Um, so, um, he's, he's balls deep in the center of the... Uh, of the base with the with the sage machine just freaking busting open, splashing out those um, bowlers, and they are really taking stuff down like quick. That center is just like it was nothing. Yeah, it was. Like, I don't understand. So, with this new update they came out with, they nerfed bowlers. But tell me, tell me this: How are we just destroying these bases? Like I, across the board, you see everybody three starring town hall 11s. Like it's nothing. What, what's yeah, that? we we restarted them all with sixteen attacks still left to go. That's insane. Mm -hmm. So you're saying sixteen attacks after you guys restart every base? Yep. Wow. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. Let's be honest. You know how Supercell does it? They come out with a new update, and uh, they kind of give you a lot of power in the beginning, and then they take it away. Like, <laughs> and this will always be. The <laughs> I think they, they underestimate what they're doing when they update. Yeah. Because. When, when something like this comes out, I, I, it's really allowed the people that haven't had much, you know, league experience or, you know, the, the, the time to play or, you know, they just haven't gotten to that town hall or to that, you know, that level of play to enjoy their attacks a lot more. And they, can, they don't have to play the meta attacks. It's, it's, it's extremely exciting to see people, you know, again, enjoying their attacks now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I agree, man. It's... <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, it really has brought a whole new level to the game. You know what I mean? For me, at least. Um, Absolutely. We're watching Darth Vader now on three. And here he goes with Hogs, man. Some of my favorite freaking attackers. Like, Who's Hogs. the plan now? He, he, yeah. uh, Bring he's in the bacon. In. Yeah, he's pretty new, but he seems like a really good guy. 
Yeah, Absolutely, he, and he loves he loves to stir things up a little bit. I feel like he's really mm-hmm. chatty on Discord too. He's he seems like a really good team player. Absolutely. He is. I'm happy to have him on board. I think he was a family friend, right? Until he joined Frostway. He was, yeah. And I, he's been killing it. He's he's uh, I really enjoy having him in the family and in the clan. You guys, you guys see where that siege weapon right right between the cannons and the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Dude. It, it went straight through the freaking <laughs> eagle art. Like, oh, I just can't. I can't get over it, dude. It's just, oh, it's just blowing my mind. Is watching these these siege machines just make the game so much different. You know what I mean? Like, it's just changed it completely. I mean, for Town Hall tens, and now yeah. like you're seeing more Town Hall ten three stars with these things. Absolutely. Goodness. We had quite a few, quite a few Town Hall tens, ten three stars in this in this war. Yeah, man. It's, mm-hmm. And you know the thing is, I, to be honest, I'm, I can see like um, watching his the initial part of his attack. He didn't need that that jump. That, you know what I mean? Like I, don't, I think um, they're still struggling with understanding the power of the siege machine. Yeah, and I, that's what. Go ahead. No, you're good. I was just gonna say I don't think. Uh, I think he didn't think the siege machine was gonna get that far, so he needed to jump to get a siege troop. So- Right, but he didn't end up meeting it. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just literally not getting the under, not understanding, you know, the new update yet. I mean, and, and all of us yep. are there. We're all sitting here like, I don't quite know how far it's going to get in. So I'm going to bring a jump just to be safe. But really, as we saw, that thing was not needed. And even nope. though we still, we're still killing it, man. Yeah, ridiculous. And so many hogs up. He has plenty so of. So many cover. hogs left. Yeah, dude, so many, and he has so much cleanup troops, like. Wow. And that's the cool thing is, you know, the town hall becomes part of the defenses. The hogs will still go right for them now, too. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to be looking at Tiny Elvis, which is Homemade's um, account on on 11. So. Let's watch it. Whoa, whoa, we will. What is he bringing in? He's bringing in hogs. Yet another hog attack. I so gotta love them hogs, man. I love them. I'm telling you. I, those who don't use them are wrong. Yo, I use hogs uh, on my seven and eight a lot. Yeah, I, they, they, dude, I use hogs on my freaking town hall twelve slash eleven. Like all the way mm-hmm. up the scale, they are they are extremely op, and they've been that way for a really long time. Absolutely, yeah. So. I honestly don't understand why people are still using dragons at seven and eight because of how op hogs are. But well, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I, I train my guys on on dragons at Town Hall eight and seven, mainly because it's an easier attack to understand. It's it's reliable and it's yeah. reliable. Yeah, I mean, you literally all you gotta do is take out an AD and then you can spam your drags and just watch them take out the base. You know what I mean? Well, my thing, my thing at, at Town Hall eight, um, it, it does include dragons, but I've always used the uh, suicide dragons. You, you, pull out the CC with the, the hog with like, you know, one or two hogs, pull them over to the corner and kill them with two dragons and then just spam hogs along, you know, Chinese wall kind of thing um, and just let them go throughout the base. The dragons come through and they clean up behind them. Right. That's the way that I've always done Town Hall 8. But now, I mean, almost anything, Valks could Valks work too at Town Hall 8. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Even go yeah. well, I could probably work too. Absolutely. I just feel like I feel like what the game has done. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like every troop has a chance in war. Absolutely. And the other thing is, like, it, it brings in a new, uh, some new concepts into base building as well. Because you know, as as we learn some of the the concepts with you know siege machine and the different you know troop metas that are in right now, um, as as bases get better. I think it'll become a little bit more fun to see those three stars when they do happen as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think things will balance out again when people start to realize, hey, I do actually need to change my war base. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, again, I know we covered this with the last video, but, um, you know, base building is 50% of the war. So um, it's just as important as your attacks. So as defending Yeah, attacks. your best offense is a good defense, so. Absolutely. And so after Tiny yeah, Elvis, just think- we're going to be covering, sorry, real quick, cut you off. Um, we are going to be going to Medora. Medora is going to be hitting um, five. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. in on it. So anyway, I'm go- back to what you guys were saying. I was just saying that base building, you know, attacks come first and then the bases catch up to it. It's just the nature of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, we don't have to jump into base building, but, I mean, it is one of mo- most people's least favorite thing to do is build a freaking base. Because, you know, some especially when you get up 11 and 12 and all those walls and all those defenses, all those extra, it just takes forever. You know what I mean? Goodness. Absolutely. And I do like how, you know, Madara even brings in the two, two uh, free spells to keep his, um, See, his cannon card, or his card alive. There. I was literally just about to say the free spell. Yep. yep. And, you know, it's just fun. <laughs> yeah. It, it, and Madara, again, like, he's been, he's been in this clan through no, through the thick and thin. He's, uh, he's been one of the best members in here as far as just one of the members alone. That's, I mean, you just consistency, bro. Again, you can't replace a member who, who, uh, is, is with you through the thick and thin, man. Because, I mean, those players hold, you know, your clan down. They, they keep that originality to it, you know? Absolutely, and not only is he has he been consistent in being in the clan, but he's always wrecking bases. Like outperforms some of the uh, attacks, you know. Where I I think that he'll, I think it's going to peter out. He'll still come through. Right, it's crazy. Right, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we we all need those members. Absolutely, <laughs> because we all know, especially within the EYG, with the uh, traveling. Um, you know the recommendation for traveling among clans, and we always need those guys to keep um, keep the clan grounded. So, absolutely, definitely a great member to have. And he just destroyed it. Oh, exactly. He just destroyed it. <laughs> like, look at all these freaking troops he has. I know. Like, oh my god. You know. So, I think half these attacks that are are done are more like the uh, Leroy Jenkins of attacks. Oh my gosh, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie. I've never been a uh, I've never been a WoW player, and I never will. So don't ever quote. But I mean, I'll tell you, I've, I've watched some freaking funny videos on YouTube regarding Leroy Jenkins. Have you guys seen the funeral one? No. Uh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh! An actual funeral. Somebody actually died in game. Is that correct? I mean, well, somebody died in real life that was part of their guild for a long time, so they were having like an in-game funeral. To... Because, you know, just like us, the, their players all around the world, so they couldn't all go to the funeral, so they had, they had one in-game. And they kind of posted on uh, the forums or whatever, hey, we're doing this thing, please don't interrupt it. And some trolls were like, because it was a PvP server. <laughs> so they're like, oh, you know what would be a great idea if we went and... <laughs> Direction <laughs> on that bit, so I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all you see in the video is him going Leroy Jenkins right in the middle of this funeral. He literally yeah. kills everybody, and it's so funny because then it, tur- <laughs> it then it turns to the players, and they're like, "What the frick? You, you're killed? This is an actual funeral!" Like, oh, the players are freaking <laughs> out. Like. <laughs> They couldn't yeah, they're not happy, happy about it. Oh my gosh. And Emerson, <laughs> we're watching your attack right now on um, 14, on 15, sorry. And uh, your air attack, your air spam. Pretty dope, man. Like, uh, air has been it, OP I, since the beginning of the game, let's be honest. Yeah, Definitely. I, went, I went with an air attack because I don't have my king's upgrading right now. So I felt that a ground attack wouldn't be. Sufficient. The best at this time. Well, let's be honest, dude. You did a great job. You killed it. I mean, it's a Town Hall 10 with Town Hall 10 defenses without the Inferno. So, I mean, it is still, it's not an easy base to take down. Well, it was really helpful that the my siege machine's got two air defenses with like one of its punches. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. That thing. It, it's got it's got splash like area of effect damage too, and it's crazy. I know I noticed, yeah. dude. <laughs> and and it has forty two. What is it? Forty two hundred um, uh, deep uh, defensive points, which is a shit ton, dude. That's a fucking golem. Yeah, yeah dude, they, I mean, play. I've used it as a golem uh, in some of my attacks. It's crazy, man. Well, just, you can't talk enough about it because it's got the defensive capabilities of a max golem almost, but it's got the offensive capabilities of like a Pekka. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, it's it's and, so powerful. And despite the fact that it gets your troops to the center, so yeah, cannot be. I mean, 
My favorite thing is to load that thing up with, with Valks and raids the center. Oh, yeah, dude. And take out the Infernos, the Eagles, or and what's cool is you can pop it whenever you want. So like if you're if you're if you're in the Sage Machine um, compartment, but it's not hitting it, and you just pop it and get rid of that freaking Eagle. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. absolutely, it, it's crazy, man. Like it, you know, the thing comes into range of you know a very uh, pivotal place in, in the in the uh, in the base, and you can just unleash hell just by pressing one button, and that thing just wrecks. Game changer. And guys, that that wraps up um, our recap for um, the few attacks that we had. Guys, epic war. Literally every star on the board was taken by the hands of Frostlight. And I'm not going to lie, that is impressive. And I'm not going to say that it's it's all because of the the update, because in the end it does take skill to do. But guys, do you guys have any recommendations to uh, people listening on how to make this happen? I will say pretty epic that um emerson's first war as leader of frostlight he 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 knocks out a perfect war congrats man thank you very much yeah yeah so any recommendations to to the people with watching um take your pants off take (laughs) about to say so and and again like for frostlight we at least when you know when i was leader my big thing was i I wanted to be a stress-free war war clan and part of that is war call or base calling and i and i i think emerson's kind of grabbed onto that a little bit where we don't exactly call bases we more or less work as a team and you know say hey i'm going to try this base and um we kind of just leave those bases open um and if somebody hits that base it is they, it's okay because now you already have at least a war or a farming army or you can kind of tweak your army for another base right. and it allows people hey you know I'm at work I and I still want to get these attacks in now or I, I have to work at this time and you know it, it, it allows for hey just go in and get that three star that's all we need right. that's so, all we need yeah, to we don't we don't call per se we do a little bit but not much it's more like um you know, it's nice to get your the nines to get attacking early now tens, but you know if you're an eleven, you know you're number one or two, and you feel pretty confident that you can get those three stars. Go for it, you know. And, and yeah, and that that's the big thing is you really don't have to wait on other people. Um, just seeing that hey, you know this person wanted this base, and just saying hey, can I hit that one? Usually you'll get a yes. Go right ahead, and they can just change their army. So and I another feel like thing we, is we we've been warring so well together that uh, we kind of know, like, oh, I, I bet so-and-so is going to hit this base, so I'm going to go over here and hit this one. That's awesome. I think it, it's all about, you know, how well you work with your teammates, not, well, hey, let's that's be- my base. I want to hit that one in specific, so. Let's be honest. No, nobody's in it for the glory. Absolutely. Let's be honest, guys. It's called Clash of Clans, and clans means family. And you guys represent right. that very freaking well. Congratulations again, Emerson, on taking leader. That is a freaking huge much. deal, man, and a lot of responsibility. If your hair isn't gray by the end of the month, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> 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 um, with that said, guys, I really appreciate you guys showing up to uh, cover this the, your, your guys' war, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, EYG. And uh, lastly, please hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, thank hit you. That hit that button. button. <laughs>